I have so much to talk to you about, uh, your show, your movie, but I also want to congratulate you. Uh, you got engaged. I did. Congratulations. Thank you. I popped the question, man. You popped the question from Thanksgiving, is that right? I did it on Thanksgiving. Gotcha. I it was kind of cheesy, but, I you think know, that's all right. That's a special place in my heart, that holiday now. I believe it, Forever. yeah. It was and good. You, uh, so you bought a ring and everything? Bought a ring. Did you uh, get a ring back? <laughs> no. Because that's the weird thing. You know, lesbian couples, you got the masculine, you got the feminine. So I was like, I don't want, like, a ring. That's, like, a little too feminine. So, like, give me some sneakers. Oh, all right. So she got me some. We were in Tokyo, and she got me some sneakers that you can only get in Tokyo. So I can literally be like, y'all ain't got these, man. <laughs> you know? You got to go to Tokyo to get these, these <laughs> that's joints. That's great. You mentioned that uh, you have a connection with Thanksgiving Forever now. You wrote, uh, won an Emmy yeah. for an episode of Master of None you wrote, uh, which was about your personal story of coming yeah. out. Uh, and, which is and, not fun for people, uh, period. The, coming out the, is the coming not out story. fun ever. Uh, but when you're far away from it, once you've done it, then you can make jokes and have fun and call Angela Bassett to come play a sweet version of your mother, <laughs> you know, uh, and have Kim Whitley play a nice auntie. You know, it's cool. But, like, during the time, it's, like, horrifying. It's, like, the worst. And was it something that you... How did it come about that it became an episode of the show? Well, honestly, like, Alan Yang, um, who was co-creator of Master of None, just asked me, he's like, uh, how'd you come out? And I literally did a one-woman show of the episode that you guys now know as Thanksgiving. <laughs> and they were like... That's an episode. That's an episode of Master of None. I was like, really? I don't think it's that interesting. Uh, but they were like, no, you got to write it. We're going to get it done. And I was like, I got too much to do, man. I got to go do the Spielberg movie. I'm still trying to get the shy green lit. And Aziz was just like, look, I can't write that by myself. That's a bad Aziz impression, impersonation. I don't want to do him dirty and go up a couple of uh, uh, but, uh, but he was like, yo, I can't write this by myself. He's like, this is like your story. I need you to help me tell it. And it's, I'm so grateful that he made me do it because it, it changed was great. my life. It was a fantastic episode Thank of television. You so much. Congratulations. Thank so you. How, because you then had to write it in London while you're working on Ready yeah. Player One. How was your Steven Spielberg? What's that like to be around Steven Spielberg? Well, Steven Spielberg is the Jewish father you didn't know you needed. Yeah, okay. Um, and he's amazing. Like, I always say he's a giant that doesn't make people feel small. Uh -huh. You know, That's he's a great like way of so it, cool. He lets you play. He lets you do your thing. And even when it's your fault, when you mess up a take, he don't make you think it's your fault. Uh -huh. He's like, that's my bad camera guy. Bad camera guy. You messed up. <laughs> He's like, now we got to do it again. Okay, Lena, I apologize. Like, like, he's so great. Like, he just always makes you feel right at home on a set. I know it just premiered at South by Southwest. I know people yeah. loved it. Great response. They dug it. For those uh, who don't know, what is the premise of the movie? Because I've heard it described as sort of a nerdgasm <laughs> for all the pop culture references in this film. Yes, that's, that's a fair assessment. Uh, but it's also about, like, imagine social media times, like, 200. So it's like, you can literally go to another planet and be what your avatar picture is. If you want to think you Tupac, you can go be Tupac, you know what I'm saying, and holla at Aaliyah. Like, it's really its own universe, and it's called the Oasis, and people get to be whoever they want in the Oasis, but what happens is this evil guy played by Ben Mendelsohn who <laughs> wants to charge people to uh, come to the Oasis, and the cool thing is about uh, Ty's character and my character, Olivia's character, all of us, we want to keep the Oasis free and cool and a place people can chill. But it's also about being too caught up in escapism, which I think to me is a great metaphor because, you know, a lot of us are on social media more than we are involved in our lives. <laughs> uh, and that's what, uh, to me, is at the root of it. It's all about escapism is cool, but we got to appreciate real life, which is really nice. Uh